Now we'll put an opening for a door in our stud wall. So we'll make a copy of this group that we already made by hitting M on the keyboard and then control and then drag a copy off to the side. Now we can hide this one, right click it and go to hide. So we can just focus on this wall here. Since it's a group, we need to double click it so it will open the group. Notice how everything else is deselected and kind of grayed out. Now we can click this center stud and we can hit delete to get rid of it. We'll zoom in closer to this upper corner. Get our rectangle tool again or hit R on the keyboard. Click that upper left corner, drag it over. This time we're going to make a what's called a 4x4, but it's actually 3.5 by 3.5, so we'll type that in 3.5 comma 3.5 hit enter and now pull across this new header that we just made all the way to the other side once it's created sorry zoom in all over once it's created triple click it with the select tool and then right click it make component okay now we'll zoom in again in that same area this time we're going to draw a rectangle on the underside of this header that we just drew. This time it will be 1.5 comma 3.5. Hit enter. Let's get our push pull tool and we'll make these our jack studs that go all the way down to the bottom plate. Oops, got that again. Great, so that's done. Now that needs to be made into a component as well. Before we can copy it over using M and then Control, grab this corner and drag it over to the other corner. Now we can close this group and it will all still be selected when we click on it.